All right, let's talk P. Diddy for a minute. So I came home late last night from work and I stayed up till like 1.30 looking at his stars. Now, I'm gonna get back on here probably Monday and do a 10 minute on his birth chart. But I'm gonna tell you what caught my eye the most in his chart. Two things, uh, let me get my glasses on, hold on. All right, so P. Diddy has a black moon Lilith in Cancer, but it's in critical degrees. So when it's in critical degrees, black moon Lilith is already like the shadow side. It's the uh, taboo side of us, the, the, the hidden taboos in our chart, if that makes any sense to anyone. But when it's in Cancer, in the ninth house, in a critical degree. Uh, this is an individual who tries to conform to society and keeps the other stuff hidden. Um, he'll have, obviously, he has issues from childhood with his mother, and I'm not sure what's going on there, but this is part of the reason why he's so abusive to women, okay? There are childhood scars there um, for why he treats women like complete crap. That doesn't excuse his behavior, but it actually explains a lot about his behavior. Um, he keeps his emotions stuffed away. Remember, cancer is a water sign. It's emotions, it's feelings. He suppresses those, which is not a good thing to do. Um, he is depressed. He suffers from depression and escapism uh, with qualities like addictions to drugs and alcohol um his sexuality ma is manifested in like daydreams so what i mean by that is like he is into like voyeurism and he's a sexual deviant what can i say yeah but he likes to watch he likes to watch the women be abused sexually sexual deviant um like i said abusive childhood uh, maybe even a scary past. I don't know. He was probably shamed in his younger days uh, for his intense emotional feelings and state. And because of that, it's suppressed him in some ways. Um, he has to mask his differences, like I said, to conform to society. And through the years, we've all been fooled. We've all thought he was this great contributor to the fashion industry and society. But there is a facade in, behind him that is mm, no bueno. <laughs> um, what else can I say? Cancer is a very emotional nurturing placement, but when it is in a critical degree like this, um, he cannot connect with his partnerships or his marriages. Um, he's cold and he's disconnected. Now, his seventh house has Saturn sitting there in Taurus. And anytime you have Saturn, it freezes, it makes you cold, it makes you calculated sometimes. Um, but when you have Saturn in the seventh of marriage contracts and partnerships, this is where he can marry much older or much younger. But there is a coldness there, um, unfeeling, uncaring, unkind person. The other placement that um, I find interesting is he has a Mars sitting in his third house. Now, the third house is the house of communication, mental clarity. It's the mind. Um, the 12th house is the deep subconscious mind, but the third house is the mental clarity. And he has a Mars sitting there. Now, this means this is communication. So it's in Capricorn, which is actually a good thing because um, it's exalted, first of all. It's in its highest power, Mars is in Capricorn, it's always exalted. And it, Capricorn tones down the Mars fiery energy, but this also makes his speech abrasive, cold, calculating, um, hurtful, 
abusive. I can go on and on here. Um, I'm trying to think of the words here. Give me a second. This is also where car accidents can come in and be very violent um, because it rules transportation. But moving on, he has a natal dra dragon head sitting in his fifth house, and that's in Pisces. And the tail sits in his 11th house of friends and wishes. And the next dragon that goes into effect on January 13th, 2025, is a dragon's head in Pisces, tail in Virgo. So when you have the tail... First, let's talk about the dragon head in the fifth. He may be a good parent, but he's a shitty spouse. He's a shitty partner. He's abusive to women. He is a womanizer. There's no respect for women. Once again, that comes from his childhood. He saw something in his childhood that made him the way he is today. Now, that doesn't excuse his behavior, but that's just me ta kind of tapping into the psychology of his chart to see why, why he does and did what he did. Um, and it, it is all about money, too. And I'm going to say this because this is actually one of my predictions for the next dragon, and I'm going to give it to the general public right now. Hollywood is ruled by a Pisces energy. What does Pisces rule? Pisces rules music. It rules the art industry. It rules poetry. That's the positive side of Pisces. It rules feet and podiatry. But in its negative, it is about addictions and drugs and poisoning and religious and religious poisoning. It rules the Middle East. So just because the dragon head is going to be sitting right on him natally, I have this placement too. I have a dragon's head in Pisces and a tail in Virgo. Mine's positioned a little differently than his. His is in the fifth. Mine is in the third. Um, he may have been a good father to his kids, but not his partners. And with that tail in Virgo sitting in the 11th house, he's fucked. No, no dreams, no wishes are coming true for him. The tail is more karmic in nature. And when I say karmic, and I, and I know in the witch community, there's no such thing as karma. But in the stars, there is. And you can't deny the planets of Saturn and Neptune, which are karmic planets. So when I say karmic, it's a past life residue. It's not, you know, you casting a spell on someone and you're going to get bad karma. That's not what that means, okay? But it is karmic in nature, so more shit is going to come out about him in the next several months. But it's also going to expose others in the music industry for their nefarious acts as well. So you better watch out because they might try and kill him. As we move into this new dragon energy, you're going to see a lot of shit go down with Hollywood being exposed. News about Hollywood, news about the rich and famous, news about musicians and promoters and things like that. It's about the industry of music. Um, so you're going to see a lot of news come out about that next year. Um, but this is also major water events as well. And I'll explain more about that at a later date. We're focusing right now on P. Diddy stars. I'm going to get back on here on my day off, which is Monday, and I'm going to do another 10-minute with his stars. I don't usually do lives. I just don't like doing them. That's just me, unless they're on YouTube. Um, I don't know. I always get idiots in my lives or someone trying to preach the gospel to me, <laughs> which anyway... I'll get back on here Monday with his chart. I'll have it all printed out, showing you all his critical degrees and all the craziness in his stars. Um, stay tuned and happy Friday. Bye.